everyone hope you all are doing good so today we are going to study about the biomedical waste management now this topic is extremely important and so i have divided the whole topic on the basis of mnemonics so we would be studying each and every disposable bin one by one so the first one we have here is a red color disposable bin so to remember that what is going to be disposed in the red color bin you have a mnemonic here which is patriot now you know what a who a patriot is a person who's fighting for your country and when there is fight obviously there is lot of bleeding which will be red in color right so you have to remember two things here first is going to be a patriot and another word is going to be red so from red you can remember the red color bin now from the word patriot see these th three alphabets p r and t so all the plastic rubber and the tubings are going to go inside the red color bin right now examples here could be a catheter urine bag iv tubes gloves syringes without the needle as well as the gown eye shields and the suction tips so it's very easy to remember right all the p r t are going to go inside the disposable one are going to be disposed into the red color bins so these are all what autoclavable waste that is the reason we are putting it in red moving ahead to the next one we have here is a white bin in a white disposable bin now see the theory here imagine that you are fighting somebody who is very much more powerful than you and he is having a very sharp object okay so whenever you see a person has attacked on you with a sharp object you show him this v p sign that please let's have peace right and peace is always with the color white so what two things you have to remember here sharp as well as peace which is white in color so that is how you're going to remember for the white one right what are the things which are going to be disposed in the white disposable bin now your needle the syringe needle you are going to dispose it here then the blade will be disposed here syringe with fixed needles wire arch bar burrs and endodontic instruments that are your files so basically all the sharp type of objects are going to be disposed into the white disposable bin moving ahead to the black bin so you see the color black here this black color is basically related to the ashes okay remember burnt paper ashes so for the black color we are going to have ashes ashes are also black in color so that means that all your general office waste paper waste all is going to go inside this basically the non infective waste will be going inside the black color dustbin and you can also say that the waste which can further be burned down into ashes all that kind of waste is going to go in the black color bin next moving on to a blue color bin so for this you have to remember that whenever you have imagine you have a room and the roof of that room is made up of glass okay if the roof is made up of glass you will be able to see the blue color sky right so blue sky is always visible from the glass ceiling and so you will remember everything made up of glass whether it is a petri dish ampule your metal implants slides and cover slips all is going to be going to be inside the blue color dustbin right then we have a yellow color bin in the yellow color bin you have to remember all your human waste human anatomical waste and all your animal waste everything is going to go inside the yellow color bin as well as the drugs which have expired so basically everything which is harmful for humans whether it is expired drugs or waste infectious waste everything will be going inside the yellow color bin so what do we have here things which are non autoclavable which cannot be autoclaved and we have to dispose them which are with a lot of safety right so all your human and anatomical waste like the placenta is going to go inside it then all the body fluid soaked substances will be going inside it the infected bandage dressing swabs gauze all this is will uh, will be disposed uh, disposed into your yellow color bin as well as the extracted teeth and tissue is also disposed in the yellow color bin with this very important to remember the cytotoxic drugs and the expired drugs will go inside so this is the only special point you have to remember and you don't actually have to remember just remember one thing that everything harmful to humans everything which is harmful to humans that will go inside the yellow color bins right 
so these are the different type of bins which you have to remember the major ones you're going to find in your clinic and it is very important with this mnemonic you will definitely remember the whole topic forever okay if there's any doubt you can still ask me in the comment box if you have suggestions to give them me 